zeer plezier in hebt. Kijk, ik heb het super naar mijn nokjes aan. Ik zou denk op te dat ik al goed in Nederland was. Ik kan er ook een spelletje zonder drie spelen. Ik wil niet weten wat voor zweethanden ik heb. 12% van de studenten heeft een paar goed. En wie van jullie studeert de rechten? Weet ik veel. Zie je zaterdagavond 8 uur bij RTL 4. You know, I have pretty good instincts about these things, and I think that this particular showing is going to be a sensation for Hope and for Thomas. Look, I know you're not particularly happy to have your wife share the glory with my grandson, but he deserves it. So my advice uh, is for you to concentrate on the one person who counts, on your wonderful wife. Hey, yeah, yeah, uh, listen, I I'm going there to support Hope, and do I... Happen to wish Thomas wasn't there. Well, that's an emphatic yes. But am I going to let him become an issue between me and my wife? Not on your life. Yeah, I, I think it's going to mean a lot to her. You just there supporting her, yeah. cheering her on. Yeah, but okay, but but keep in mind, this is, this is a surprise. Don't tell, don't tell Ridge. Don't tell Brooks. Right? Her right. secret is safe. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm tempted to hop on a plane with you. Bro, pack a bag and meet you at the airport. I wish. I have patient commitment and three kids, so uh -huh. I think it's best I sit this one out. Uh, we're very, very happy to take care of Douglas and Beth. You know what? Kelly and Hayes, they love play dates with Beth and Douglas, but you can always bring them over to the Cliff House overnight. I mean, I'm not going to be the only adult in the room. It's my mom, Taylor, there's, there's going to be plenty of reinforcements. We'll just get for him. This is so great. I, ju I just, I can't really, I can't thank you enough. Not just for making it possible, but for making it easy to surprise Hope. I really, I can't wait to see this look on her face. All right, so the ups and downs, the twists and turns, we have some new and improved Hope for the future. Save you some more. No, no less. Great choice, by the way. Oh, great choice. Just want to keep her around. Anything else I need to know for tomorrow? Nope, everything's under control. Carter Walter, you are one of the most confident people I have ever met. It's a blessing and a curse. Well, it's a blessing for us. You're the best hire we ever had. Good attorney, wedding officiant. What would we do without you? We couldn't do anything without you. Thank you. We appreciate you. <laughs> well, it goes both ways. And please stop with the compliments. My head's gonna get so big, it won't fit through the door. You deserve every compliment. I'm gonna go check on that photo shoot by the pool. All right, we'll go here. All right. Know where to find you. Hope and Thomas, they poured their heart and soul into this. They need a win. I'm with you. And they're gonna get it. Me doing what? How about you get out of here and you see some sights and, and, and you know what? Why not take Brooke with you? Can you believe it? <laughs> Finally here. The day that almost didn't happen. Well, you've been on quite the journey with Hope for the Future. Yeah, things were pretty bleak not that long ago. I almost lost my mind. You know, I really tried not to let you and Liam see how terrified I actually was. But, luckily, Becky gave Thomas and me another chance at revitalizing the line, and now, here we are. In Rome. With our preview tomorrow. <laughs> I am so happy for you, Hope. You worked so hard to revamp Hope for the Future, and oh, I just knew it was going to be a success. I hope that you're ready to be the toast of Roma. <laughs> <laughs> now that, that I think I can handle. Yeah? Are you nervous? Just a regular pre show dinner. I actually am feeling really, really confident in the line. I mean, at this point, I almost feel like, bring it on. <laughs> so, um, that's on you. How are you feeling? Oh, uh, I'm just so happy to be here. With Ridge? Well, you know, I can't help but notice the two of you are getting a little close. wonder if the city might have a story for the two of you. <laughs> Jasmine, it's been an episode to see you. Mwah, mwah. It's beautiful.
To wear? What would you, you mean matchmaker now? Would I do that? Is that? You would do that, and it's not matchmaker. Okay, so I shouldn't believe what my eyes are seeing then. What? Do you, what? I don't know what that means. I know you well, my friend, and I've been around you and Brooke long enough to know when the ground is shifting. You guys are close and distant and closer. Okay, stop me for misunderstanding the I'm situation. I'm stopping you because you're misunderstanding the situation, Carter. Maybe this fallout with Taylor, maybe... Maybe Brooke is a little open with me now? That's awesome. You think so? Yes. I'm not trying to get in your business. Oh, just you're in my business. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Because it doesn't matter if you and Brooke are together or apart. Your connection never goes away. And that, that means something. Now, all I'm suggesting is if you go out there, you get some fresh air, you combat that jet lag and that grumpiness, and do it with the woman you've loved for most of your life. Liam, you and Hope have gotten through so much. And you've gotten through everything with flying colors. With communication and caring, and most of all, with love. It's the most important thing any couple can give each other. When two people love each other, there's nothing they can't overcome. And I can attest to that. Yeah, you certainly can. Well... Right now, the only obstacle left between Hope and me is uh, miles. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's pretty easily fixed. So, next step, book a flight, baby. Here you go. <laughs> I know you've been keeping your eye on Thomas and me, you and Steffi. I can feel your eyes in the back of my head. It's kind of hard not to notice. Uh, but it's really, it's really not necessary because all of our focus and attention is on the preview and the press event. But, you know, if you really do feel better watching us, um, that makes you feel at peace with yourself. So I've also been keeping an eye on you and Rich. Boy, so what is it you could be seeing? Been there my entire childhood, my entire life, the two of you still desperately in love after all these years. I guess that sounds that uh, Captain Taylor is null and void. I, I don't want to necessarily talk about that. I'm just yeah. No, you're right. Sorry. I even brought that up. Why would I do such a silly thing when we're here? And we should be present in this beautiful city, this enchanted city called Rome. Anyway, so, I don't know. You just happen to be here with your decades-long love. Something in the air, Mom. Can you feel it? <laughs> How do you feel like destiny? Uh, to be quite honest, I don't know. Rich is the other half of this equation and is kind of showered on destiny right now. The man's been known to change his mind. Okay, what are you doing now? You kind of put this back together. I just want you to be happy. And if that means rage, then fine. Hey, hey. Hi. We were just talking about you. Yeah, good thing, Joe. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else? Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't know if you may want to walk the city with me. Any place in particular? Same place I always go when I come to Rome. I don't care. No, window, aisle, 
it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, just... Okay, wait, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you, can you just, can, can I, like, no offense, can I talk to, like, a, a, a supervisor or... Thank you, thank you. Hi, yes, hello. Uh, my name is Liam Spencer, and I am desperately trying to get a flight to Rome to see my wife. I see it, it still strikes me. 